good morning to one and all uh, i am venkatesham uh, i am going to discuss about uh, some of the problems in the atomic structure topic and here uh, one question i was given uh, how many photons of light with a wavelength of 4000 picometer are necessary to provide a 1 joule of energy to provide the 1 joule of energy just uh, how many photons of a light with a wavelength of 4000 picometer are necessary to provide a 1 joule of energy so that means uh, so 1 joule of energy how many number of photons are present and first you can uh, uh, find out the its a uh, wavelength uh, is given as a uh, 4000 picometer 4000 picometer is nothing but i can write a uh, 1 picometer equals to that is in a uh, uh, 10 power minus 12 meter here uh, 4000 into this is in a uh, 10 power minus 12 uh, meter so that i can write this is a uh, simply a uh, 4 into this is a uh, 10 power minus 9 meter its wavelength is given as a 4 into 10 power minus 9 meter as all we know that the energy you can found by that is in a hc by lambda e is equals to hc by lambda h is given as a 6.625 into this is a 10 power minus 34 joule okay so into its a speed of light is that is given as a 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second and here a lambda is given as a this is in a 4 into 10 power minus 9 so on simplification this one uh, you will get there is in a 4.97 into this is a 10 power minus 17 uh, joules you will get okay here number of photons is equals to number of photons is equals to here number of photons is equals to in 1 joule divided by here it is in a in 1 joule they are asking no so and how many photons so 1 joule divided by this is in a 4.97 into this is a 10 power minus 17 and uh, after simplification you will get directly this is the answer is a 2.01 into this is a 10 power 16 okay 2 point yeah and the next problem is a a bulb emits a light of wavelength 4500 angstroms bulb emits a light of 4500 angstroms and the bulb is rated as a 150 watts 150 watts means it emits the energy is a 150 joule per second and that too for the 8 percent of the energy is emitted as a light right so how many photons are emitted by the bulb per second right first you can find out the energy emitted by the bulb that is in a 150 watt is nothing but 150 joule and in that uh, that can be 8 percent only can be emitted in the form of light that means a uh, 8 divided by 150 into 8 divided by 100 8 percent is given 8 percent that's the reason 8 divided by 100 that is equals to 12 joule right so how we will get to simply is 0 0 will get cancel here so 5 3 is a 5 2 is a and 2 1 is a 2 uh, there is a 4 is a 3 4 is a 12 joules will get the energy emitted is a uh, 12 joules now 4500 angstroms wavelength is given and the energy of the one photon can be calculated this is the energy of one photon hc by lambda and h value 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joule into and uh, speed of light is a 3 into 10 power 8 divided by lambda 4500 angstrom is given one angstrom is nothing but 10 power minus 10 so after simplification this one uh, you will get 0.44 uh, 1 into 10 power minus uh, 18 joule this is in uh, this energy is a uh, uh, energy for the one photon but the number of photon this is the energy of one photon total uh, energy is a uh, 12 joule is given so then cross cross that then simply you will get number of photons right so one photon energy is 0.441 into this is a 10 power la minus 12 but uh, joule so this is a 12 joules how many photons are there let us take it as x cross multiply this one so 12 divided by 0.441 into 10 power minus 18 after simplification you will get this is a 27.17 into 10 power la 18 photons so if one place of decimal i was taken front uh, 
you will get 2.717 into 10 power 19 photons you will get. Next problem is uh, an electromagnetic radiation of a wavelength 242 nanometer is just sufficient to ionize a sodium atom and find the ionization energy of sodium in kilojoule per mole right so in this uh, uh, here they have given the particularly uh, wavelength uh, wavelength lambda is equals to that is enough 242 uh, nanometer that means uh, this is a 242 into this is a nanometer simply 10 power uh, minus 9 uh, meter 242 10 power uh, uh, minus 9 meter but here we need to find out its energy energy e is equals to that is in a hc divided by lambda and uh, that is a 6.625 into uh, 10 power minus uh, uh, 34 into this is a 3 into 10 power uh, 8 volt divided by this is a 242 into this is a 10 power minus 9 so after simplification this one now uh, it's a energy you will get as a 8.21 into 8.21 into this is a 10 power minus uh, uh, 19 joule 8.21 into 10 power minus 19 a uh, uh, joule you will get uh. but actually this is for the one sodium atom energy for uh, avogadro number of uh, atoms of sodium and one mole generally it contains that there is an uh, one mole uh, it contains avogadro number of uh, uh, sodium atoms Avogadro number of sodium atoms are there so that uh, we can write its uh, ionization energy of uh, uh, sodium is equal to so that is an uh, 8.21 into this is a uh, 10 power minus 19 into its Avogadro number of molecules uh, Avogadro number of atoms 6.023 into this is a uh, 10 power uh, uh, 23 atoms after simplification this one uh, uh, this one simply will get 494.5 uh, 494.5 uh, kilo joule for mole you will get right so next question is uh, uh, calculate the number of photons emitted in 10 hours by a 60 watts sodium lamp lambda of photon is given as a, as a 5893 angstroms so here uh, as all we know that uh, watt is nothing but simply a which is an uh, energy in uh, uh, joules divided by it's a second right so but here uh, energy emitted in one second uh, first you can write down that is in a 60 watt they have given here 60 watt is equals to energy in joules divided by one second that means i can write simply a this is an uh, energy in joules is equals to this is in a 60 joules that is for one second okay so now you can uh, find out the energy for the one photon that is in a hc divided by lambda h is in a that is in a 6.625 into this is a 10 power minus 34 uh, into this is a 3 into 10 power uh, 8 volt uh, divided by lambda value is given as a uh, that is in a 5893 into this is a 10 power minus 10 uh, meter okay so after simplification that one uh, you will get 3.37 into 10 power uh, this is a uh, 3.37 into 10 power minus 19 uh, uh, joules you will get this is right so this is for the energy of one photon and uh, one second uh, there is an uh, energy emitted is equals to 60 joule so that uh, number of photons number of, of photons emitted in a number of photons emitted in a one second in one second number of photons emitted is equals to i can write this is in the there is a 60 divided by and it is a 3.37 into this is a 10 power minus 19 job and uh, here after simplification that uh, you will get there is a uh, 17 point uh, 8 into this is a uh, 17.8 uh, uh, into 10 power minus uh, uh, 19 this is for the one second but actually problem they asked in 10 hours uh, so that you can multiply it with the uh, 10 into uh, 10 hours uh, first uh, 10 into 60 into 60 and uh, then after simplification this one uh, 
you will get the term services simply I am writing here and uh, you will get this is a 6.41 into 10 power uh, uh, 6.41 into this is a 10 power uh, 24 uh, 4 terms in 10 hours you will get that right so this is in 10 hours uh. next question a near UV photon of uh, uh, 300 nanometer is absorbed by a gas and then re-emitted as a two photons uh. that means photon of uh, uh, its wavelength is a 300 nanometer is absorbed and then it is re-emitted the two photons uh. The wavelength of one photon is 700 nanometer. Find out the wavelength of second photon. And here uh, we have the relation that is in a energy relation E is equal to this is in a simply a E1 plus a, here it is in a E2. So energy is equal to, we will write down this is a HC divided by lambda. Here also here it is in a HC divided by lambda 1. Here it is in a HC divided by this is in a lambda 2. In all the cases HC is a constant so that HC will get cancelled here. So 1 by here they have given 300 uh, and this is in a 1 by this is in a first photon uh, wavelength is given as a 700 they are asking to find it's a second photon wavelength lambda 2 here a 1 by lambda 2 is equals to I can write this is in a so 1 by 300 uh, minus this is in a 1 by 700 uh. so take the LCM here in this uh, LCM uh, you will get this is a uh, simply a 21 now uh, uh, so 2 lakh 10,000 that is uh, and here a 700 minus uh, this is in a 300 so after simplification this is in a simply you will get a uh, uh, 400 divided by so this is in a 2 lakh 10,000 two zeros will get cancelled and uh, here I want 1 by lambda 2 is this one but I want only a lambda 2 lambda 2 is equals to I can write this is in a uh, 2100 divided by 4 and it is in a simply a 525 uh, nanometer these all the values are given in the nanometer i did not change it up and to the meters so the directly 2100 divided by 4 is nothing but 525 nanometer we will get the next problem is uh, uh, the wavelength of a blue light is 4800 angstrom find the frequency and the wave number and here uh, wavelength is given uh, lambda is given as uh, 4800 uh, uh, angstroms so as all we know and one angstrom equals to 10 power minus 10 meter so that i can write this is in a 4800 uh, into this is a 10 power minus 10 meter okay so i can write this is in a 48 into this is a 10 power minus 8 meter we are asking here it's a frequency and a wave number first i will uh, find out it's a frequency new equals to c by lambda and the C value is a, that is in a 3 into C is the speed of light or velocity of light 3 into 10 power 8 uh, divided by its wavelength is a 48 uh, into this is a 10 power minus 8 uh, so so this is a 3 ones are 3 16 ja, right so you will get its a frequency and simplification now Uh, 6.252 this is uh, 10 power uh, 14 hedge okay so this is a simply a frequency and it's a wave number new one is a wave number new bar equals to 1 by uh, lambda here I can write uh, 1 by lambda value is a 1 by this is enough 48 into this is a 10 power minus 8 so after simplification it's a wave number uh, we will get that wave number is a uh, 2.08 into after simplification this one not 2.08 into this is a 10 power uh, uh, 6 uh, meter ringos so new bar equals to 1 by lambda 1 by 4 this is in a far, lambda value is a 48 into 10 power minus 8 and you will get this is a uh, after simplification 2.08 into 10 power 6 meter ringos and the next problem uh, the threshold frequency of a metal is 1.11 into 10 power 16 hedge what is the maximum kinetic energy of a photoelectron produced by applying a light of 15 angstrom when we are applying the 15 angstrom of a light and some photoelectrons are ejected and that photoelectrons kinetic energy is asking to find and here first you can find out the frequency of the light by applying the 15 angstrom 
here uh, nu is equals to there is a c by lambda and uh, c is a speed of light here so that you can write this is in a 3 into 10 power uh, 8 uh, and lambda value is that is in a 15 into angstroms uh, convert into the meters 10 power minus 10 meter so 3 ones are 3 fives uh, so that means uh, 1 by 5 is 0 0.2 into this is a 10 power uh, uh, 18 0 0.2 into 10 power 18 or you can write this is in a 2 into this is a simply a 10 power 17 is a no, head g will get so here they are asking to find it some maximum kinetic energy kinetic energy is equals to we have the formula here uh, so h into nu minus nu naught u so nu naught in the problem threshold frequency is given as a 1.11 so that i can write uh, this is in a h into nu is given as a this is in a 20 into uh, 10 power 16 I can write this one minus this is in a 1.11 into this is in a uh, 10 power 16 right so h value is a, that is in a 6.625 into this is a 10 power uh, minus 34 even you can take a uh, 10 power 16 is common in both uh, and you will get this is in a 20 minus a uh, 1.11 uh, 20 minus 1.11 means that is in a 19.89 you will get that. So after simplification this one and you will get 1.25 into 10 power uh, minus 16 joule. Next problem is uh, a 100 watt bulb emits electromagnetic radiation of a wavelength 400 nanometer find the number of photons emitted uh, uh, per second by the uh, bulb right so here uh, 100 watt bulb emits that means uh, energy emitted uh, by the bulb e is equals to that is in a 100 watt uh. so as all we know one watt equals to one joule per second that means i can write this is in a 100 uh, uh, joule per second right energy is given as a 100 uh, watt the energy emitted by the bulb is nothing but 100 watt uh, that is in a 100 joule per second right so whenever the electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 400 nanometer is there so then uh, find the number of uh, uh, photons emitted per second by the bulb right so first you can find out this is in a, a standard one and whenever i am using that uh, energy e equals to h c by lambda and here i can write a h value is a Planck's constant 6.62 uh, 5 into this is in a 10 power minus 34 into that is in a speed of light is a 3 into 10 power 8 divided by this is in a lambda value is given as a 400 nanometer so 400 into this is a 1 nanometer is nothing but 10 power minus 9 meter after simplifying this one now um, simply you will get this is in a uh, 10 power minus 9 10 power 17 uh, and you will get this is a simply a 4.969 4.969 uh, into 10 power minus 9 19 joule 10 power minus 19 joule this is the energy of a uh, one particular photon right so energy of a uh, one single proton is a uh, 4.969 into 10 power minus 19 joule and uh, this much energy whenever it is in a bulb is emitting so how many number of photons are there so one photon one photon uh, energy is a uh, 4.969 into this is a 10 power minus 19 joule and they have given uh, 100 joules so in 100 joules how many number of photons are there let us take this is an x x is it cross multiply this one this into this and you will get 100 divided by this is a 4.969 into this is a 10 power minus 19 uh, joule and after simplifying this one now you will get 2.01 into 2.01 into 10 power uh, 20 you will get 2.01 into 10 power uh, 20 this is a uh, uh, 2.01 into 10 power 20 per second uh, generally this many number of photons are going to be emitted